Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech. Today we are playing some more side missions before Lady Arana calls for help again. And since some of you, actually a lot of you, have requested a grasshopper, we are finally, finally playing it. I have to say, I really like Grasshopper, but only after you got access to the Highlander and then the double heat sinks with it. So what I did is I stripped down double heat sinks from the Highlander because I think you don't necessarily need that many. And um, I put them in the Grasshopper. And this, this, this is how my Grasshopper looks right now. And I have to say my Grasshopper because I have a specific thing in mind here. Now, as you can see, heat sinks for days, four doubles here. Uh, we have the gyro with plus two melee hit and here's the specialty of course a bunch of medium lasers and small lasers this thing is super scary super close range so uh, i want to make him uh, a brawler and an srm2 plus 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 the srm2 is only for tipping an enemy over when i have racked up stability damage with my missile boat which is my centurion right now so i want to have um an option to to knock down enemies on each and every mech in my lands because i'm uh, doing the challenge run with only one light one medium one heavy and one assault mech and therefore the srm here of course you take two tons one ton from the srm ammo and one ton from the srm itself that doesn't do that much but still still i wanted that and therefore we're gonna play it like that Again, the Highlander, I just stripped down the heat sinks and replaced it with regular heat sinks, and um, it plays the same like before. And that's it. Let's go in, let's play the first mission and see what we can do here. Launch contract. It's a four scale mission. So we have an assassination going on. And I want to bring in the Grasshopper, I want to bring in the Highlander, I want to bring in the Panther and the Centurion. Actually, let's order it a little bit. And Decker's gonna play the Panther. Behemoth is gonna play the Centurion as usual. Glitch on the Glitch on the Highlander because she has breaching shot and multi-target, having the big weapons on the Highlander, the Gauss rifle and the LRM20 makes definitely sense. And we have evasion um, with the grasshopper here, evasive move, and of course ace pilot, which is great because if we just go in in the last initiative turn, shoot our weapons, and then start earlier than enemy assault max, then we can then shoot again and then jump out again. Or we just get closer. We're gonna see about that. So having the ability to reposition after shooting is a thing that is nice for a frontliner. And uh, we have great mobility here with the uh, Grasshopper because it has four jump jets. That's really nice. A uh, little bit of a ad block in between since we are waiting for the mission to load. Um, I'm streaming on Twitch, by the way. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, uh, or if you didn't know, I am live streaming as well almost every day of the week and I'm doing it on Twitch. Link is down below in the description. It's twitch.tv slash You can just go over there, um, click the follow button. You will see when I'm online, you will get the notifications and you can hang out with me, have some fun, chat, talk, just do all kinds of shenanigans. And um, yeah, see me playing Mac Warrior and Battletech in other games. So, ad block over. Let's get into the mission. Oh, we are playing at night. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Elite Mac Warrior, supporting pirate forces, and pirate reinforcements. The Elite Mac Warrior is up there. Alrighty, let's go. Let's just run towards the front line. So, I'm not afraid here. I mean, it is a four scar mission. We have to be somewhat careful. But let's see what we can do. 65 ton mech. Well, maybe we actually get another assault mech here. The elite pilot is usually something bigger. Usually, I have to say. Re let's reserve. Let's uh, let him come so that we can uh, work around the guarded state here. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to say is um, if you find an atlas, if you find a king crab, that would be an immediate upgrade to our Highlander. And uh, maybe we get something like that. Let's see. Okay, lots of heavy mechs right now. You see the enemy turn is taking a while. That means a lot of mechs uh, acting in initiative turn two. Ooh, Panther dodged it. Nice. Now, what was that? It was a Thunderbolt. Okay, 75 ton mech. Missiles coming out means Orion. Ooh, Decker, Decker, Decker is getting some hits here. Okay. But it's good. You know what it means? That we can now just push forward go. like crazy and retaliate. So, I think I'm gonna shoot the Thunderbolt first. Oh, tanks, tanks. Alright. 
Okay, let's just go in and shoot him. Just regularly. Just get some damage in. Mm hmm. So, what's that? Shrek? Or Demolisher? Both 80 ton vehicles, both vehicles uh, in initiative turn one, which means it's either a Shrek or a PPC carrier. Uh, yeah, PPC carrier. No. Either a Shrek PPC carrier or a Demolisher with double AC20. Okay, so since this guy is not guarded, it is Firing not invasive, way. we're gonna go for it. And here I want to show you the reasoning behind my, my build. Um, I'm gonna use Hotwire now, which has that that head head SRM2 stare down knock over thing. Uh, of course we jump. Mm, we can get line of sight to this guy as well. Do we want that? It's better than Decca getting hit, right? It doesn't make a real difference here. So medium lasers plus SRM2. Here's the knockdown. If you strip down the armor a little bit, you could also afford an SRM4, which only uh, takes up one slot, so it's a nice head weapon and um, just has more raw damage. Double the damage, actually. What can I do for you? Mm hmm. Now, what can you do for me? You can just kill this. And then later on, we follow up on the Orion. Do I want to. I want a vigilance here. And here's why. First of all, uh, she's getting plus one initiative. Secondly, she is hopefully the main target for the Orion. And um, yeah, we're gonna get our morale back by killing this thing. Might have been mild overkill. Ah, by the way, um, you should really target the center torso of uh, Thunderbolt all the time. Because there is uh, ammo stored in there and if you blow it up, Massive damage to the CT and that thing just dies. I forgot, I wanted to show you before it got destroyed. Ready for order. Sorry. I am sorry. Okay, no line of sight to the Orion. Um, and I think the Orion won't get any. So we reserve Decker, we use Behemoth to... Oh wait, something's coming up. Oh, interesting. Medium mech. Or heavy with a Master Tactician skill. Uh, we use Behemoth to just get some stability damage in and then we use Decker to knock him over with the SM4. Again, this is my strategy to mess with the enemy's initiative so that I can um, just follow up safely. So, Lost Evasive, that's what I needed. It's another medium mech here. Wow, the Grasshopper is taking so much fire here. Alright. Okay, we jump in. Copy that. And this is why all of my mechs have at least one source of stability damage. Because we can do this now. Here's the knockdown. And now we can follow up with a precision strike. Or a cold shot. So having some kind of um, stability monster. And then the, the knockdown. And afterwards, again, the guys who just come in and butcher enemies. Medium lasers. Is this gonna be enough? Ah, 226. This is not gonna be enough. We have... Uh, oh, wait. Mm, 90, 115, plus 75 is 180, plus 24 is uh, 204. What did I say? <laughs> not enough. Okay. We don't have ammo in there, right? No. Mm, so, 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 so. What do we do? We use glitch. <laughs> this is just a no-brainer. We use glitch. She road. has the uh, potential to get a, an instant kill here. Get wrecked. Shoot everything. Why not? All are go. <laughs> Four. Oh, one missile is what we needed here. Okay. Hotwire. You gotta do it then. <laughs> okay. So we have a very mobile aggressive force here and then our very slow Centurion rattling behind that. Uh, saving something is not really necessary. Like the thing is we only run in SRM 2. 2. 
and we have 100 missiles. That means that that thing can shoot 50 times before it runs out of ammo, so you can always shoot that. This is all, always a good source for damage. With very little heat buildup. Okay, 80 tons, 80 tons. Yeah, they're just doing stuff there. <laughs> and a 35 ton mag. Okay. Come in here. Uh, I'm gonna reserve again. Don't want to do anything right now because there are enemies on the right side and I want them to come a little bit closer before then I do then my, my move. Reserve again. Let's see what we have there. And we reserve again. So these are the... So these were the pirate forces. I think this is uh, the tanks, yeah? And then we have the reinforcements on the right side coming in now. And um, I believe we are going to engage them. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Sensor lock. Let's go. He's guarded. Oh, no, he's not. He just sprinted. Oh, this is perfect. This is so good. It's a quick draw, right? Let me see. Yeah, we have a quick draw here. Nice. That means that we can just keep up our LRM shenanigans. Shenanigans. I want to engage from the front, though. Can we do that? Yeah, this is front arc. Because if I only shoot the side... Of course, I get the stability damage in nonetheless. But I want to deal as much damage to the front as possible. Hitting center torso here. So that I can get a quick follow-up. And possibly a kill in one go. Oh god. Mm hmm. The vehicles are a little bit confused. I think they cannot get over this ridge, and therefore they really want to engage, but maybe not. You, Who knows? People are quite scared here. Okay, this is all of it is indirect fire. Yeah, I can only shoot my LRM, which is okay. No sweat. It's better than nothing. So we make a complete shift to the right. Also saving some heat here. This is really good for the next turn when we can follow up on this. Knockdown. Okay, pilot injury, and again, the per initiative pushback. Okay. Hot wire. Mm hmm. Shall I sprint? I can get line of sight to. Oh, this guy, interesting. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'm not too afraid of getting. Uh, afraid? Afraid? Afraid of getting shot right now. Because we are extremely evasive. Wow. Wow. Initiative tone 5. Master tactician in a light mech. What's up, boss? Interesting. Interesting. Um, hmm? Hmm? Do we do that? 123. We can kill. Yeah, we have cover. We are super evasive. That's gotta be alright. Hello? CT. Got it. It's a very little chance. Now oh, we missed it. Yeah. But still. Reporting critical hit. So why why uh, a, uh, a little chance? Because we have the 25 from the medium lasers times four, and then uh, I believe it was 48 damage from the SRMs. Okay. Okay. All right. So, 37 is what we need. This guy is uh, guarded. Go. Which is good, because we can then multi-target. AB. Um, I deal more damage to the other guy. To the B guy, because he's still fresh. And we need just need little damage to the, the guy on the ground. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ammo explosion. At least that. And here come the sixes. So many of them. I love that. It's so cool. Okay, how much do we need? 29. What's he doing? LRM 10? Is that what you want to do? Oh no, he's repositioning to shoot Decker. Okay, now Decker is getting into trouble. I need to push forward with another mech. For example, Hotwire. And, um... I think, I think I'm gonna multi-target again here. Since we need 29. That should be possible. AB. Okay. 
So, we have a lot of small lasers that we can shoot at A, and the rest is gonna go to Mr. B. Uh, medium, medium, small laser A, medium B, uh, small laser A, SRM B. Okay, let me check. All of the mediums are going to B, all of the smalls are going to A, and fire. <laughs> Laser show! <laughs> I love that. Okay, now oh, that's some good damage. Cool. Get some mechs in the back there. Come on, show yourselves, guys. Ooh, a cataphract. Yeah, and I'm actually happy that the the grasshopper is getting shot at. I could have uh, vigilance here, which I forgot. Uh, would have been better. So um, I, the morale was high anyway. Um, if I used, uh, if I would have used vigilance before killing this guy, I could have just have a free free brace effect here. I hear ya. Forgot that. My bad. Hmm. Hmm. Only our long range weapons now. It's gotta be alright. Okay, so we keep shooting the quick draw, obviously, because he's almost down anyway. Here we go! Center torso is still fresh. Ish. I didn't want to go for a precision strike because I thought it was not necessary or not valuable right now, because I could only shoot two weapon systems. And if I go for the precision strike, I want to kill. Therefore. Leaving it out here. The tanks are finally coming all around. Oh, what's that? Is that the Elite Mech Warrior? That's definitely Decker getting shot. Wow. Yeah, you need to go. <laughs> Who's that? 90 ton mech. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Might that be a Highlander? Receiving you. Okay, I think this is the first time I'm using. Ace pilot. Do we have ace pilot? We have ace pilot. Okay, so we can shoot and then move. Fire. Copy that. He's definitely getting knocked down. And now we need to get out of harm's way. He just needs to reposition. Let's get Decker out of there. Jump uh, back here. And I'm not bracing. I'm not vigilancing here, right? No, we don't need that. So being behind the big ones should be enough. Okay, a 60 ton mech. Another quick draw. Oh, a dragon. And this is it. I should have Vigilance the Grasshopper. I didn't think about that. Need to do it uh, more often. Especially since we have high morale anyway. Mm hmm. Now, 87 damage. Or shall I start shooting the cataphract? This guy is not doing anything anymore soon. Yes, Commander. Let's start working on the cataphract. 60%. Yeah, the cataphract is the um, scarier target. 100%. 80% is good. Yeah. Position confirmed. Since he has an AC-10 and a PPC, it's just so much firepower. And... Do I want to bring him back? back one turn yes I want I want to so this is a precision precision strike with LRMs which is not good but I want to push him back one turn it's very important to me okay and here's why um I want to I want to have a reliable knockdown here, and I will get it by multi-targeting this guy, and this guy now. Ah, he is guarded. Damn it. Okay, okay. We can precision strike again, trying to go for the kill. Cannot get close enough for the small lasers though. Damn it. And this could be a kill. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm no, I think this is it. This is what we do here. We are pretty hot right now. I don't know if I can shoot all of my weapons, but let's do it. So we knock down the cataphract with our head SRM and then shoot the medium lasers, which... Oh, we don't shoot the medium lasers, which don't deal the extra damage. 
Is it gonna be enough? I doubt it. Engaging. But maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've torn him apart. So what I did here is I knocked the, the pilot down just to mess with his aim. He's getting a huge penalty for aiming when he's standing up. And that means that his AC-10, his PPC, the medium lasers are not that... Uh, not that strong. I mean, again, his chances are very low. Let's see. He's pushing forward. Okay. Armor low. Ah, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, speaking of it, uh, speaking of the, the close range here, we have a lot of small lasers. Small lasers, they ignore, um, was it evasion or guarded or both? I'm pretty sure it's both. No, only evasion. No, they only ignore evasion. But anyway, yeah, never mind. Waiting on you, Commander. Um, this is a cataphract kill if you precision strike. I want that. Yeah, let's go. Affirmative. Let's get in there. Could also try to multi-target. Mm, because I have breaching shot here. What would I do with that? This is not gonna be a kill, whatever I do. Now, we try to get a, uh, a direct kill here. Call shot to the nuts. Let's go. At some point I will rebuild my Highlander a bit, but at the moment it's just um, such such a good weapon system here. We've got the stability damage bonus LRM20, we've got the damage bonus SRM6, and of course the Gauss Rifle. Um, I might be... I might be using the Highlander later for three, maybe, yeah, three big weapon systems, something like that. But we gotta see about that. <laughs> here comes the damage. Alright. This 35 ton mech is tripping me over. I don't know what that is and, and, and why. <laughs> okay. Um, reserve here. Let them do something. Oh, head hit. Pilot injury. Mm -hmm. I really need the cockpit mods, guys. This is so important. <sighs> God, still, still guarded here. So we gotta, gotta use multi-target. Let's go. Let's kill this or try. So we have the breaching shot here. Pilot incapacitated. Oh, nice. That was a kill actually. I wasn't um, really aiming for it, but I'll take it. So this guy is standing in rough terrain, which means massive stability damage. That's good. That's something. Another head hit. Armor's holding. What? Glitch. Please don't die. Standing by. Jump. Okay, we can only get line of sight to the vehicles here, but I want to deal with the dragon before we do anything else. Mm-hmm. Got death from above him. Which knocks him over. Is that a good idea? Yeah, we're gonna dissipate some heat by that. Ooh. The high unsteady. Okay. Let's do it anyway. I want to do a fancy move. I could drag it out a little bit more. Um, playing it more safe here. But this is just so fun not to do it. Okay. Mm, I don't like this. We gotta wait with Decker. I want Decker to be the last one to move. And then we do the double um, the double move there. Uh oh. I've been sensor locked. Oh god, only sensor lock. <gasps> okay. What's up, boss? Mm, how does that guy look like? It looks like it is ready to get destroyed. This is only indirect. Wait, wait, wait. We need li direct line of sight. Ha ah, ha. Is that it? There's actually a mod outside. Um, 
out there, I wanted to say. There's a mod out there where you could um, swap the colors of the direct and indirect line of sight. Indirect would be yellow and the direct line of sight would be red then, so that's way better. Um, yeah, we do precision, precision strike here. We have to. Let's go. I want to get that thing killed. This is not only, only good for um, that we don't have two flanks anymore, but also gives it some relief to the grasshopper that really needs to reposition. Okay, 80 ton vehicle, another Shrek. Sensor lock. Ooh. Yeah. Getting hit in the side and the knockdown. The third head injury or pilot injury. I'm bleeding, Commander. I see that glitch. I see that. But you gotta be fine. I promise. I promise. We will get you out of here. Absolutely. <sighs> okay. Let's shoot this. Firing all weapons. Not a kill. Okay. Show sure, 90 ton mag is uh, I believe a Highlander again. And hmm. Got cold shot to the head. Nothing. Help! Help! Jenna. Oh my god, the Highlander is taking so much beating here. Okay, we have a double heatsink here, which I really want to preserve, so we have to, I don't know what we have to do. We have to get her out of there. That's important. What we also have to do is we have to kill one of these tracks. Kill, nice. Okay, Decker. One more for the track. You got what you came for. It's time to get out again. Jump. Hit and run. Hit and run. That's what we do. Okay. Next up is Behemoth. Actually, she waits until Hotwire is establishing line of sight again. She really needs to get rid of the stability damage. That's important. So, what we do is we Vigilance. And then we shoot to Jenna. With... Everything. Why not? He is not evasive. He is not guarded. We get some regular damage in. Leg? Oh, head hit. Interesting. I'd rather have the leg hit. It's alright though. Ready for orders. So now we, that we see the Jenner, we can follow up with this. Yeah. Copy that. I'm just hoping for something here. Is he down? No, that 10. Okay. The problem is that the Shrek will probably be the next one in line. And Glitch is still on the ground. This is not looking good. They've got a sensor lock. Oh, sensor lock. Thank you very much. Oh my god, the AI. Oh, we're fine. So, right side is crit. We need to... Um... We need, we need, we need. We need shield with the left side. Let's do it like this. Right, Commander. We need 10 damage here. Um, I want to multi-target. A, B. So the splash damage is gonna go to A and the rest is gonna go to B. And that should be a kill. Both right, kills, Commander. actually. Okay. Yes, sir, I'm ah, already enough. Oh, the cow's missed. I was banking on that. Okay. But we still have Decker. Highlander still getting shot? Sure, because we have established line of sight again. That makes absolute sense. But the armor is holding up. Good to go. Good to go, you say? Good. I copy. Mm. Actually. Actually, that was a mistake. I want a sensor lock here. I've got a sensor lock. And the reasoning behind that is that Hotwire can easily destroy the, the tank. She can just jump in. Could have moved in, <laughs> saving some heat here. And then shoot everything to kill. Engaging target. And now Behemoth can do the, the long range stuff and uh, glitch as well. 
So that's gonna be a knockdown on the Highlander on the other side of the map. 80% hit chance. He's in cover, which is a problem, but still. Primary target damage, Commander. <laughs> I had it. That's good. That's really good. Because now... Okay, he's, he's shaking off someone steady. Uh -huh. Is he guarding? Probably. Commander? That makes sense. However... Are we... Going in. Yes, we are going in. And we got we are going to Alpha Strike him. Because we have massive damage potential. Also Alpha Striking him now. S yeah, we we do the I'm center torso shenanigans. Strike. Definitely. Want to open him up? I hope that we make him unsteady. That's what I was coming for. It's pretty hot in here, Commander. It's pretty hot in here, I know. That's because of you glitch. Um, mm -hmm. out of range, so it seems. So we get in range again. The missile barrage should be enough for the knockdown. And then Decker can get in, jump in, trying to get uh, the kill with um, a precision, precision strike. Let's fire. Let's see how you like this. 186 is what he has in the center. The knockdown. That guy doesn't have enough firepower, sadly. Can r no, he cannot rip apart the side. Waiting for orders. Okay, that was not what I expected. Can we do it from here? Kind of. This is better. Jumping. And honestly, I don't mind if Decker has some has some evasion and vigilance here. Uh, getting getting some damage Roger. off the Highlander right now. I'd rather have Decker getting some hits than my Highlander. Ah, 38. Hit, okay. Looking good so far. Hot wire. Not sprint. Move. Yep. Not jumping anymore. And that should be it. Hopefully. Pieces are coming together. Okay. Engaging target. And you can see... The, um, the grasshopper, if, if it only moves, it's actually heat neutral, so we dissipate heat if we shoot our medium range weapons here. That's crazy. So the jumping around is uh, is the problem there, so make sure that you that you find a trade-off between being super evasive and building up heat. Okay, that mission was challenging, I have to say, but not that, not that difficult. Let's try another one. I want to, I want to go for another one here. Uh, also, salvage, very important. Um, maybe we can get some weapon systems. I'm definitely definitely gonna take a Highlander piece because at some point we can just... Um, what is called? Uh, we can just sell them. So... There's the Highlander piece. That's what I want. Mm, accuracy is nice to have. Crit is also nice to have on the medium laser. Fitting out the... Grasshopper, melee stability damage, interesting, heat sinks, four days, jump jets, targeting systems for energy, I have one already, I don't need another one, um, rain K, Jenna, cataphract, do we need the medium lasers? Probably, let's take the medium lasers because my, no, my grasshopper has already enough medium lasers, I think there is not a single one with only one plus. Is there? Or oh, with no plus. We have some one plus medium lasers. Let's take them. It's okay. Oh, uh, crap. All right. Second mission of the day. Coming up soon. Let's have a look. Mm, I do not really want to travel. So I'm going to stay on this planet and see what we can get here. If it's a lower rated mission, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fast. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the playthrough with the, with the rogue tag which is uh, a roguelike mode for Battletech. It's a mod that one of uh, the community members have built and you have basically the whole, the whole Innisfear star map that you can travel through. Uh, no story, uh, increased difficulty, uh, bigger weapon pool or bigger equipment pool uh, and everything. So it's looking good and I want to play that. So we keep going on this mission here and uh, after we have done this, the, the rogue tech is coming up. It's gonna be fun. 
Try to angle your attack to take advantage of your enemy's vulnerable armor locations. That's a good idea. This takes very long. Is something coming up already? No. So, Glitch is out of action for a couple of days. A full month, actually. That's not so good. So we're gonna bring in Medusa. But it's alright. So Medusa gets to see the battlefield as well. And... We have a Lost Air recovery mission. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Recovery. Badlands. Takes us 11 days. Okay, let's go. Um, three salvage, because you never know what you find. And we keep going. In the meantime, we're gonna quickly, quickly take a look at our Grasshopper, because I want to see how many weapons we can actually switch here. We have two more plus plus lasers, and I believe, again, we have some regular pluses here. Oh, actually, we have a one regular laser, and this is plus five damage, which is so good. I'm gonna keep this. This is way better than accuracy or um, crit. Mm, let's take the crit. I think we have no problems with accuracy here, because our mech pilots are so good anyway. Yeah, let's take the crit, why not? A very minor change, and we keep going. Oh, the loading times are a little bit off, I have to say. Hmm. Okay, so I don't I don't know where Gironda's is, but um, we're gonna travel there. We're gonna take a look at the shop, of course, before we get there, or before we get into the mission, and um, see maybe we can get some good stuff out there. Also, I should probably schedule a, an Agua upgrade. The last one I got was the Mech Bay, and now we can go for the bigger repair and refit here. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Let's go. Money is not a problem right now. If you only have to care about or take care about four, five mechs, then uh, you don't necessarily need that much money to refit your stuff all the time, to buy better weapon systems, to have many or multiple mechs ready. Uh, I have that right now, actually. So I still have the the Orion ready. I have the Thunderbolt ready. Um, actually, I could take out some stuff from there. Why not, actually? Why not? That would be way better. Okay, not yet. I want to take a look at the store. Let's get that going for us. AC-10. Nah. AC-20. Nah, I have a better one. No good medium lasers, no heat sinks. And that's gotta be it. Alright. So, Medusa is gonna be our um, spare pilot. And I don't know if I want Medusa in the Highlander, to be honest. Really. <laughs> He's not good. He's really not good. But who else would be in there? Actually, Behemoth. Yeah, makes sense. So we have multi-target here. We have Bulwark. Let's put Medusa to the back. And we are ready to go. Okay, recovery. Difficulty, three and a half skulls. Badlands, which means, um, I think, minus 10% heat dissipation. So... It's not gonna be a big deal for us. Uh, we just need to make sure that we don't jump around all the time. I'm, as you can see, my playthrough it banks on being super evasive all the time. So having having evasion as my main defensive option is um, yeah, is what, what I'm doing here. I'm not using bulwark because I don't have a a full lens of assault mags or full lens of heavy mags, which can just make use of that big time. So this is not a problem. But I want to be able to jump around all the time and, you know, just not getting hit at all. Which is, of course, um, more difficult the more mags or the more vehicles or more turrets you face, because every time you get shot, there's one evasive chevron being taken away from your evasive move. So there's that. So what do we do here? Retrieve the Debian VIP and escape. Should be fairly easy. Command interface initiated. Straightforward mission, you say? Okay. Can do that. Let's do oh, easy. Easy! Easy poopeasy. Let's go. I like that we have a lot of water here. And what was that? Badlands? Minus 10%? Oh, 15 actually. Okay. Minus 15%. On the move. And we have enemy contacts. Roger that. 65 ton mag. And 80 ton. Ooh. Awesome. Victor? Could be. Both of them are actually relatively scary. Um, Waiting for orders. Mm -mm. Gotta reserve all of them. Oh, here's a Thunderbolt. 
Okay, and as I was saying... Uh, that was my grasshopper. Um, I don't know, did I say that earlier? I, I, I don't know if I, if, if I did or if I forgot. Um, Thunderbolts have stored ammo in the center torso. All of them. That means shoot the center, try to get a crit on the ammo, and the center torso will be blown away by the explosion. That is so important. And uh, this is what I try to go for here. We have... Good to go. Mm, yeah, we have that. We have Decker to do that. This is gonna be actually an easy kill because that guy has no armor whatsoever. Um, and we have, I think we have crit here. 50% crit, 50% crit, 50% crit, and accuracy. So, precision strike to the CT should kill. Crit. Yeah, LRM ammo explosion, pilot injured, ammo explosion, LRM ammo destroyed. Dead. That's how we kill the Thunderbolt. I mean, of course, if you have, uh, if that guy had more armor, that would have been a little bit better for him, but he didn't. So, second. Yeah, second mech to destroy is the Victor or Awesome, which is up there. I really hope it's a Victor, because the Victor has less range than the Awesome. It's my turn again. Didn't want to do that. Can get line of sight there, but no range. Mm-hmm. I think this is what I do. Jumping into cover. Establishing line of sight. Why not? Ooh, a Zeus and an another, another unknown mech. Okay, we brace here, since we, we are not in range anyway. What's this? Victor? Victor. Okay, so this, this is good. Because, uh, I mean, it has an AC-20, which is scary, but... Um, it is uh, very limited in range, and therefore it doesn't have the best hit chance. Ready for orders. So now we can do the shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shoot everything, me too, sir. Have got. fun. Just go in. Unload. This guy's gonna be open. Everywhere. Nice. Got past his armor. <laughs> okay. Commander. Now Behemoth. Jump forward. Firing jump. Shall we try to get the kill here? I was hoping for more CT damage, honestly. Uh, he's not unsteady yet. Oh, we have everything in range. Okay, never mind. That answers the question. Copy that. I thought we were only having the Gauss rifle and the LRM, but in that case, everything to the CT. And we have a dead Victor on the battlefield. Okay. Now it's on. That's good. Okay, next turn. Next what round, actually. Uh, Decker's not gonna do anything because he is fine where he is right now. And we use Medusa to get some. Hmm. No, we don't use Medusa right now. He chances are bad and he's guarded, so let him come a little bit closer. This guy is running through rough terrain. It's a nice target for my missiles. It's only guarding as well. Reserve. Let him come. Oh, come on. Coward. Coward. And now the missiles from the back. Uh-huh. Everything from the back, actually. <laughs> okay. Why not? Damage minimal. Damage minimal. In this scenario, in this case here, I think I'm gonna establish line of sight to the quick draw. And we just shoot him. Let's go. So we don't have breaching shot on Medusa, sadly. So there is no question shooting all of my weapons or only one. We just shoot everything. And there's SRM ammo explosion! Nice! Okay. How? Doesn't say anymore. Heatsink destroyed, jump jet destroyed. There was SRM ammo in here, it doesn't show anymore, right? There is no other, yeah, no other explanation for it. Okay. Hello? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. All of them are super damaged. Um, let's go. Ah, oh, three damage. Three damage is what we needed here. One shot to the to the leg. Uh, should have gone to the center and he was dead. Alright, it's okay. Can Decca finish the job? No, no, not really. Can sprint though. Let's get close. Next turn, it's uh, his turn, and then he can 
and shoot. So he's acting first. That's what I wanted to say. What's up, boss? What is up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Um, you should probably just move and multi-target. Yeah, that's what we do. You have breaching shot here, so shooting the Gauss rifle to the quick draw and then the LRMs to the Zeus, hoping that one of them will hit, is the way to go here. Fire! Roger that. Pow! Mm hmm. And I really hope for the kill here. That's it. Nice. Okay, so we have options now. This guy is not being precision struck. No, not not yet. Not yet. That's the point. Do we need to? No, we're gonna knock him down. We don't need to precision strike here. Or maybe even we kill. That's it. Enemy down. Enemy down. And that gets us out of the fight again. Exiting combat. So we can just set up here, bring everybody in. Roger. And then extract. Position confirmed. Position confirmed. I really wonder where the reinforcements are coming in. Let's see. Coordinates received. Okay. Recover the VIP by securing the designated area. All targets eliminated. That's it? That was a three and a half skull mission. I mean, honestly, yeah, we had we had an assault make on the battlefield, but the ammo was so, so low. I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to say. But you know what? I'll take it. Let's see what we can or what we get in the in the end here. I mean, this is easy XP for Hotwire and everybody else. Uh, Victor, uh, two assault mines actually. Yeah, Victor, Zeus, P poor weapon systems. Ooh, five damage. Yes, please. And three accuracy. Gyro melee hit. Melee hit. Nah. Not good. Heat sinks, jump jets, and ammo. I think I'm gonna take the, the Victor part and the Zeus then. For selling it. Sure. Alright. That's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Next time we hopefully get Lady Orano's next mission. So we can advance in the storyline a little bit. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.